guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. This video is sponsored by The Game Crafter. And today, we're going to be discussing the review for the game Planet Fulcrum. If you'd like, you can check out the videos previous to this one to watch the walkthrough, the setup, and to show you all of the components. This is the final video where we just give you our thoughts on the game and whether or not you should pick it up if you're interested already or at a later point in time during this video, you can go ahead and check out the link down below and hit up the Game Crafter and pick up the game Planet Fulcrum where you can purchase it and play it on your own. So let's talk about Planet Fulcrum now. Well, first of all, in the game, it's an area control game as you've probably seen. You're going to be moving around trying to to gather certain areas and based on your actions you're going to go from one side of your board to the other whether you're being an overlord or whether you're going to go ahead and be a guardian now there's the blue and the red side based on your actions it'll determine what you're going to do the blue side is going to kind of work together and allow players to kind of benefit off of your faction level pushing you from one direction to another is not actually that challenging and as we played multiple times and started to understand how the rules function we realized that you can actually get from purple to blue in a couple rounds and then also back from blue to purple and purple to red in a couple after that as well there is the dark overlord which functions like a blue player when he's by himself sort of uh, but basically he is trying to do the same thing the blue players are doing they're trying to gather as many victory points as possible if you can get all the victory points in certain areas you're going to score a bunch of points as well as getting fulcrum which is the currency in the game there's a lot of different areas on this board here this board presents a lot of challenges the first thing i would talk to you about is this area this uh Potestus Isle, which is the main contributing battle point in the game. It's highly contested and players are going to be trying to search this island and gather the certain uh, gather the certain areas here because that is where it's going to allow you to gain more fulcra on your cards thusly letting you gain more areas on the outskirts of the board here this board plays one to four players and when you're playing the one player game what's nice about it is the characters are not playing with actually have an action priority as well as a little explanation as to how they play it talks about their power levels and their objectives and whatnot and it gives you a different feel for each of the different characters in the solo mode of the game which we didn't really discuss too much but it plays very similarly with some added aspects as to how the AI functions in the game while you're trying to gather your resources and gain control of certain areas attacking in this game causes large swings so people who don't like to attack like our group did did, did not like to do we mainly focused on gathering areas and messing with each other by gaining uh, the ability to purchase new areas based on what other guardians had conquered in those areas attacking was always a looming threat and you want to be very careful because when somebody does swing at you and they do a very good job they can push you from level four to level one which can decimate your points and potentially make you lose the game and it also can contribute to if you have a highly uh attacking style like aggressive play style or play group the game is going to take a lot longer because you're going to need to push yourself back up and all the territories will get lost when you lose a certain amount of levels if you play like we do we're mainly into interested in just the threat of it happening and so playing defensively is important then the game will probably take a little less time uh, I really, really like the fact that the game moves you back and forth through the different ways in which you're playing the game. It's more of a, a negative style of play, not negative necessarily in a bad way, but like you're attacking players and you're gathering certain cards and whatnot, you'll push over to that one side. Or when you're gathering folk or taking uncontested territories, you'll move over to the other side. That's a really unique aspect to a game that I haven't seen a lot of. There's a couple like the others and whatnot that present some of those faction changing feels to a game, but this one does a very good job of it. I feel like area control games as well, this is a solid one to play it's one of those games that you can instantly understand how to play after going through it one or two times and getting acquainted with it and if you want to play a solo style play of a game of an area control game i don't know of a lot of them out there that actually do it and this one does that which is nice as well the artwork is fine i like the board specifically i like a lot of the meteor cards and, and whatnot even this style artwork is just fine it's very cartoonish girls like saturday morning cartoons with some of the cards being less impressive than others for especially for like these cards here it was they, they were just fine you know pasted onto a background which is okay a lot of games do it so uh, but regardless it wasn't really for me however the game style of play is a lot of fun and of course the competitive nature of the game if you'd like a competitive area control game planet falcon is what i would strongly suggest just to take a look at as long as you don't mind these swings going back and forth in the game taking a little longer or if you have a play group that's very passive this game will actually work as well but it plays completely differently and it feels a little differently as well based on your play group which is really cool really interesting for an area control style game uh, unlike a game like blood rage where 
it's usually pretty similar unless somebody's playing with Loki. But regardless, check out Planet Fulcrum down below if this game is appealing to you. It's on the Game Craft where you can pick up this game, as well as hundreds of other games that are there. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I look forward to seeing you guys in our next video where we discuss the game Shields Up by the Game Crafter as well. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.